Michael Benjamin Washington. Hello. Welcome to Kansas City Rep. Thank you, Marissa Wolf. We I are so it. excited to have you here. Well, I'm excited to be here. So I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about um, what uh, drew you to the subject of Bayard Rustin hmm. um, and, and what resonated for you that, that inspired you to write this play. I was doing a reading of a new play in New York at Manhattan Theatre Club called Choir Boy by Terrell Allen McCraney about a 16-year-old out and proud gay kid in a prep school in the slings and arrows that he was suffering. The director had mentioned that I was a little old to be playing 16, <laughs> but I should investigate Byard Rustin. I had no idea who he was, I'm sad to say, but I ordered a documentary called Brother Outsider. It took a year to come. I was in Los Angeles having moved three times. It got lost in the mail as if I believed in coincidences, which I do not. It fell off my shelf at my feet, still in the cellophane. I opened it, watched it, and knew instantly that this man's life needed to be told, and it needed to be told by me. So this is a brand new play, mm -hmm. meaning um, it's, it will be totally new to Kansas City audiences, and mm -hmm. they are so lucky because they get to kind of see it here first mm -hmm. before it goes on a journey, takes over the world. Right. Um, <laughs> Not one would. Yeah. And uh, what should they expect coming to the show? Well, I hope it's not spinach. It's not supposed to be a history lesson, although I love history. Mm -hmm. It's not a rant on race, although it does regard culture and politics. Mm -hmm. It is a story about togetherness. It should inspire people to make a change. It's a story about the crossbreeds of black, white, gay, straight, all coming together to help eradicate poverty, mm -hmm. to make the next generation have more benefits than the last generation mm -hmm. did. Yeah. So it's a generational story. And it's also about class, it's about race, it's yeah. about politics. Most about it's finding out what your light is mm -hmm. and learning how to make it shine no matter who tries to stop you because mm -hmm. that's what we're sent here to do. I think one of the big things about Bayard Rustin is uh, one of the metaphors that I've heard is that he lived his life in the shadows mm -hmm. and wondering what the shadow was versus the light. And if the shadows are standing on the margins of the movement, being the force behind the movement, the one who's organizing it, who's pretty much the wind behind the sails of the movement, you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown, uh, how, how do you figure out when is it time to step in, when is it time to step out, and when that promotion comes, are you truly ready or not?